Hi, this is Deb from Deb Stays Designs, and I'm back today with another fall project. Today we'll be learning how to make an owl trivet from fabric and batting. Use it to decorate your table or countertop, or use it as a pot holder or a hot pad when you're doing your fall baking. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com where you'll find plenty more sewing and crafting projects. And if you're looking for a printable version of this project with step by step written instructions, color photos, and the printable owl template, you can find it in my Etsy shop, Debsdays Designs. I've added links in the description below this video. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need cotton fabric for the body and the wings, cotton fabric scraps for the eyes and the beak, cotton batting or insel bright, a glue stick, an optional walking foot, and of course the printable owl template. First, place a piece of owl fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up. On top, place the other piece of owl fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down and center the battings or the insel bride on top. Cut out the body template and center it on top of the stack, pin it in place and cut it out. If you find the stacks too thick, go ahead and disassemble some of it and cut the layers separately. Cut the wings away from the paper template. With the right side of the fabric facing up, place the templates on the fabric and cut out both wings. Cut away the eyes and beak from the paper template and use them to cut out eyes and a beak from your fabric scraps. Referring to the placement diagram, arrange the wings, eyes, and beak onto the right side of the owl fabric. I like to use a glue stick on the back side of the fabric to provide a temporary hold. Stitch around the raw edges of each of the fabric pieces with a blanket, zigzag, satin, or even a straight stitch. I like to try out different stitch lengths and widths on fabric scraps before I start working on the applique piece. Place the unfinished owl body with the right side of the fabric facing up. Place the finished owl body on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Center the battings or insel brights back on top and use pins to hold it all in place. Stitch around the owl body using a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving a space open at the bottom for turning. Take your time with the stitching and if you have a walking foot, consider using it. Clip the corners and notch the curves and cut away the extra batting from the opening. Turn it right side out and press it. You may find you need to stick something up into the ears like a chopstick to get them to poke out all the way. Fold the opening under a quarter inch and press it to form a sharp crease. Top stitch around the entire piece an eighth of an inch from the edge and add any additional quilting if desired. And just like that, just that fast, you have your own handmade owl trivet, pot holder, or hot pad for fall. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, check out some of my other sewing and crafting tutorials and patterns. You can find them on my YouTube channel, at the blog at debsdays.com, or in my Etsy shop, Debsdays Designs. See you next time with another project.